this club has gone through a lot of changes whether at the management level whether at the players level where whether it's about the strategies tactics everything things have changed season on season for fc bengal united with only one aim that is to get to the i league because they know the prize is huge and they have also paid a huge cost for them now can they materialize all the efforts at the end of this league campaign that's all what matters nothing other than that that's for sure there's another throw in for fc bengal united there have been frequent changes at the management level for fc bengal united we have seen some experienced men coming and taking charge at the helm of affairs for bengaluru but they have not been able to pull off that spectacle that every united fan is waiting to see this is orange trying to make themselves available in the box easy play. vishal june well vishal will also have a great responsibility in this game it's a do or die encounter yes there are four more games left but the result will decide a lot of things today's result will have a huge bearing a huge impact on the title challenge because the sporting club bengaluru as i said earlier are five points clear at the top they are relentless they want to do absolute best at this business end of the tournament this is orange that is a cynical challenge referee will pull out the card and that's the first yellow in this match karthik goes into the box of the referee jersey number 4 experienced player should not have done that because well this free kick look at the area where orange have got that free kick in just one proper delivery that's all it takes from here to send shock waves into the camp of fc bengaluru united this mistake can prove to be a costly affair for united in the box at the shot well miscued shot there is that a corner or a goal kick well that looks like a goal kick danger averted for the moment but orange had a great chance in the box just had to beat that proper shot but that connection was missing and here is the confirmation of that yellow card karthik now uh, he will have to be very cautious throughout the rest of the game whenever a defender goes into into the box so early in the game well it becomes really difficult for him to put everything on the pitch a throw in here for orange this has been a positive start for the team in all orange jersey number 7 here for united trying to go forward but a good challenge orange back in the possession looking to release fast well the intent is clearly on the stay from orange they're not here to get intimidated by fc bengal united clever passes and look at the back tracking there the work rate in the midfield has been exceptional from orange players in the first 5 minutes of the game and that's what their coach silva will want it will not be an easy affair because it is surely a demanding game for both sides orange are sitting at the bottom of the table at the very rock bottom but football is not about the points table it's about what you bring on the table when you are playing in those 90 minutes and here's a delivery united looking for 
not yet gotten an entry into the six yard box. FC Bengal United will be looking to desperately enter into the box and create something dangerous. Vishal Dhuad Sangha with a quick throw in. This is Rishab Dobrial, a talented man, trying to wriggle away. This is Dhuad Sangha back on the ball. He has got a lot of options going forward. Back with him, trying to calm down the momentum in this game. Trying to take control of the proceedings, which is really, really important in the first few minutes of the game. Because if you lose the momentum in the first 10-15 minutes, well, it becomes really difficult to salvage something from that half. This is United in the box, buried away. A throw in here for United. Now, it seems, United are gradually coming into the game and taking control of what they would have wanted to. United moving forward in the delivery, in the box, that delivery straight to the goalkeeper. But Morella will be very happy with that movement. Positive game, quick passes, clever give and go. That's what Fernando Santiago Morella would want from his players. And the possession, possession seems to be largely in Bengaluru's camp. And they have settled into this game in the first five minutes. It was a helter skelter affair for FC Bengal United, but now they seem to be more settled. Here they are moving forward. Heavy pass at the end. Goal kick for Orange. It's been a tough journey for Orange in this league, especially the last few matches. Their results have definitely not gone in their favour. In the last match against Sudeva Delhi, they had to suffer a bitter loss because the Ashri Bhardwaj scored in the additional time, in the stoppage time, and took all the three points away from Maharashtra Orange. And that was a bitter pill to swallow for Orange because they were hoping for a few points from that game. This is Orange, jersey number nine to create things tries to put one in but Maharashtra Orange player right at the perfect position and that's what you need from your defenders positioning is very important defending is not all about the tackles it looks fancy when a defender puts in a tackle like that one in the midfield right now but if your positioning is perfect you need not put those tackles and that's why clean defending is such a worthwhile asset another throw in here for fc bengal united Bengaluru got a great start in the season and they were looking very promising but the last few games, well the tides have turned they had to bear a loss against Dempo and then a one nil loss against Sporting Club de Goa but this is a good chance to bring their title campaign back on track with four, go four games to go last win that FC Bengaluru United got was here at the same venue at Kargar against Kenkre when they won comprehensively against Kenkre it was a 2-0 win for FC Bengaluru United Yash Mahatre and Jerry Ansimas Pulante scored there's another cynical challenge one Lal Duat Sangha he has been everywhere so far in the game it looked promising and these are the players that Santiago Varela will be expecting to put a shift in. A 
FC Ben United fans will be very eager to get those three points because they know if they do not get three points in this game, well, it will be very difficult for them to lay their hands on the title and the promotion because Sporting Club Bengaluru, well, they have been on song and they have looked flawless and immaculate in the last few games. That's not the case with Bengaluru United, but they can come back on track. It's just that one win that they are desperately looking for and then the title challenge, the title cheese will be very, very tricky. And we all know what happens when a couple of teams are fighting hard for the title. Any slip up can cost expensive. It will take a gargantuan effort from FC Bengaluru United because five points at this stage of the league, well, that is a big gap that they'll have to bridge. This half will be very important for Bengaluru. Can they score one goal? At least one goal because if they can open the scoring in the first half, well, they will take a lot of momentum going into the dressing room at the half time. And the whole conversation in the dressing room will be very different. Santiago Varela's pep talk will be very different. Ahmed Fez Khan will be telling his boys to just strive forward and keep doing what you are doing. This is danger lurking around. Karthik will have to be cautious. He's already on the yellow. He cannot be too expansive when it comes to putting those bodily challenges. Another throw in here for United. An early goal will give a lot of momentum. As we just said, this is a Sanchez Singh puts one in. That's good. That goes outside. It was Jerry Onsma's Palamte who crossed beautifully in the box and delivered an inch perfect ball. And they've got a corner here. Well, these are the passes that Varela will be demanding from his players, especially the likes of Jerry and Sanchez. Jerry on the corner. Here comes the delivery. Header. Still with Bengaluru. This is Karthik Panikar. He takes a shot from distance. Could not test the goalkeeper. It was an easy collection there from Mukundan. But this is good from FC Bengaluru United. It was a good delivery from the corner from Jerry Ansmas Pulam then he is an informed player. He has got goals beyond behind him and he knows how to salvage those goals for, for his team. And these players, the likes of Sanchez Singh, Jerry Ansmas Pulam De, Rishabh Dobrial, Yash Mahatre. These guys are very important for FC Bengal United. What matters is the goal count. Can you score one more than your opponent? That's what it takes. Here's Orange. Looking to keep the possession in the last five minutes. It has all been about United. They've kept things tight for Maharashtra Orange. It's a great recovery from Jersey number 17. This is now Chasing chasing that ball, but there was a bit too much weight on that pass. So in here for Orange. How important this result will be for FC Bengaluru United. Because we have seen how this club has evolved in the last three, four seasons. They have been really active and they have been pushing hard. We all know the goal is clear. The goal is I League. And then eventually the top division. But the immediate goal has always been the same for FC Bengaluru United. 
they have dominated the Karnataka scene, they have dominated BDFA, and now they are aiming to get to the I League, and that's what the ultimate goal has been. They have been very relentless, and now they need a win, a season win. That's what they are chasing. This is Maharashtra Orange. That is definitely an offside. Orange player avoids to get that contact. Leads it to the goalkeeper. One must notice that Maharashtra Orange have not been overawed by FC Bengal United in this game. They also know that United are coming at the back of two consecutive losses and those defeats have deviated their title challenge otherwise they would have been in a much comfortable position at this moment when it comes to title challenge and that's what Maharashtra Orange will be taking confidence from because they also know they just need to be there they just need to be pushing hard and they will definitely get something out of this game. That goes to Wilson Da Silva, Orange's coach. He will be hoping that his boys put up a spectacular performance here up against United because they know that ending the season on a good note will be very important. It's not just about one season, it's about how you approach it as a club. This is Maharashtra Orange looking to get into the box, wriggles away. It's a great defending, puts the body in between and uses that mass really well. Draws that foul, draws the referee's attention and avoids the danger for the moment. Great defensive play. Here's Maharashtra Orange in the box. Can they pull off something from here? Not really. We're trying to get things on quickly, but FC Bengal United's defense really caught up on that occasion. I League 2, well, this I League 2 season has sprung up a lot of good encounters. We have seen a lot of mouth watering clashes where Clubs have gone against each other really hard trying to get those three points. And that's what has made this title challenge and this title chase so worthwhile. Once again, United in the box. Was there a contact? We'll have to see. United crying for that corner. Well, referee does not agree. And here's a goal kick for Maharashtra Orange. How important this season has been for Karnataka football. Two Bengaluru clubs fighting hard for the I League promotion. Well, that's what every football lover in Karnataka will want to see. It has been a dream season for Karnataka football when it comes to I League 2 because Sporting Club Bengaluru, what a story it has been for that club. They are new onto the scene, but the way they have played the way they have introduced themselves to the Indian football, well, that has been spectacular. And FC Bengal United, not far behind, they have been relentless as well. They have kept Sporting Club Bengaluru on their toes. And this augurs so well for Karnataka football. Two clubs trying hard for that promotion into the I League. Well, that's a perfect scenario for the growth of football in Karnataka. And all the efforts that has that have been put in at the management level, well, they are bearing fruits for Karnataka football. Here's a free kick. 
for United. Lal Malsoma and Karthik will be just to see who will be taking that free kick. It might be Lal Malsoma and it's a short start. Karthik takes it and here's a long delivery straight to the goalkeeper. He's trying to do something different right from the start and they were trying to get something and some routine from the training ground but uh, did not pull that off brilliantly. United on the ball. They've looked comfortable in this game and going ahead they just need to bring that incisiveness in their attack because we know how important clinicality is in these encounters. Karthik will have to be cautious. Does a great job on that occasion. What composure from Karthik. He knows he is on a yellow and still keeps that patience. Communicates well with his goalkeeper and a shot from distance meanwhile. But good defensive play here from FC Bengaluru United. First 25 minutes of the game, it has been an even Steven affair, slightly inclined towards FC Bengaluru United and that's what United fans would have wanted. They would be desperately looking for a goal here because a goal will definitely change the complexion of the game. This is a good play here from FC Bengaluru United, a shot once again blocked by a Ranch player still in the fray. Joe Simba 25 looking for inroads. Gives it out wide. This is Duat Sanga. Last contact. Did not help him. But a great attacking move here from FC Bengaluru United. They got a lot of free space right outside the box. Just had to be a little more clear with their plan. And they could have almost gotten their goal. Looks like. Juice number 23, Prathamesh Kasare is in some trouble here. Needs some physical attention. Prathamesh Kasare is very important for Maharashtra Orange. He is a really important cog in the wheel. And this hydration break will give such an important time for Santiago Varela to instruct his players and to pass down that message that he wants. Varela will be desperate because FC Bengaluru United have come on multiple occasions really close to that promotion but they have not yet been able to cross that final hurdle this is the season where once again they have come so close to that promotion they just need to put in that last shift consistency at this stage is very important Maharashtra's Kaffa, Augusto Wilson da Silva, will be happy from the display that his boys have shown in the first half an hour of this game. They have not been overawed and they have kept FC Bengal toes. And whenever they've got that opportunity, they've also tested the defense of Bengaluru. And that's why you can see that wriggles on the face of Santiago Varela. He's a calm personality, likes to take things easy and is not often animated on the sidelines but the occasion is such that he will also be a little nervous because he knows that this is a match where fans will be expecting three points, nothing less than that. 
met their expectations, well, there is a lot of pressure as well. trying to press hard well that the intent is pretty clear they do not want to give that breathing space to orange players they want to put that pressure this is orange well that is definitely an offside it was clearly visible and santiago Varela will be hoping that his boys get that early goal because orange players are still in the game and Santiago Varela will want that his boys put this opposition outside of the game as soon as possible. This is Karthik Panikar. Gives it to Jason 36. Suraj Rawat. As Ahmed Khan on the ball, looking and assessing his options, gives it wide. And that's a strong challenge. Foul given away. That was definitely not needed. And it was a clumsy one for sure. Joseph 9 for Orange. Rinaldo Fernandez trying to stop Joseph 21 on that occasion. Gives away a free kick. Well, this, these set pieces are a really important asset in the game, especially for the team uh, that is chasing those three points. Here's a different routine from United. Well, looks like there is a bit of ambiguity. They've not been able to pull it off so well, but still the possession is with them. Duat Sangha finds his player. Here's a good pass. That's a clever give. Clever give and go. Comes the delivery in the box. Too much on that cross. That was a good movement there from FC Bengal United. This is the creativity that the coach will be wanting from his players. They've got a lot of creative players in the mix. And that's why they are sitting at the second position in the table. It's been a good campaign for FC Bengal United. It's just that they need that final flourish. Because the promotion is very important for them. They have been trying hard for that promotion for the last few seasons. This I-League 2 season has been historic in, in a lot of sense. We have seen different teams coming into the fray. Some of them who have been stalwarts in Indian football, whether we talk about Sporting Club de Goa, whether we talk about Tempo, these clubs used to dominate Indian football at one point of time. Well, early 2000s and that 2010 decade was all about Tempo dominating Indian football and clinching titles one after the other, representing India in Asia. Well, the sun set but now, it looks like they are back in the game. The season has been a mixed, mixed bag affair for Dempo, but they are back in the equation. That is what is more important. Last 15 minutes in the regulation time in the first half. Very important phase of the game. No team would want to go back to the dressing room trailing at the half time. That is not the scoreline that they will want to brag about. This is Orange. Timely intervention there from jersey number 29 for FC Bengaluru United. The captain stepping up. Putting his body right in the middle. Oh, 
It has been a good start for United in this game. They have kept things tight for Ranch. All they need is that sharpness in that six yard box. That's a good tackle. But referee thinks otherwise. There was a contact. There's no card. But there is definitely a foul. Look at that. Well, that was a heavy bodily contact there. And towards the number seven, Rishabh Dobrial knew it immediately that he had committed a foul. We can see a lot of support here for FC Bengaluru United in the common box. That's good to see. A lot of United fans turning up for the occasion. That's what you need. Fans turning up for you when you need them the most. And this is the most critical part of the season for United. Well, first, they'll have to defend this free kick. Challenge for United. Here comes the delivery. Header. Will that go into the goal? Yes, that will. Orange leads. David leads against the Goliath. Well, this is a shattering goal for FC Bengaluru United. This is not what they would have wanted. Maharashtra Orange in the lead. They've got their first goal. Well, that free kick has turned out to be a disastrous event for FC Bengaluru. This will have a huge impact on their title challenge. Not a good sight for United fans. But Maharashtra Orange, well, they have come here to pull off a miracle. They have taken a good solid step forward in that direction with this first goal. This is the opener that Orange were chasing. And FC Bengaluru United were avoiding at any cost. Imar Adam, the goal scorer, that faint header that guided the ball towards the goal. And Vishal June had no idea whatsoever. Well, this match is turning out to be a great, great affair. Sporting Club Bengaluru fans will be grinning at the moment. Their players will be very, very happy. They will also be hoping that this scoreline stays the same. This is definitely not a good sight for United fans. Oh, this is so disappointing for United. Take a look at this. That was a very clever free kick. Take a look at this and then the header. What a header that is. Aymar Adam putting his head at the right occasion, at the right place. Perfect header that gives the lead to Orange. And now United will have to come up with something special from here. Otherwise, the promotion seems improbable. Challenge will get more steep from here for United in this game. And this is exactly what I was talking about a few minutes ago. That in the last 15 minutes of the regulation time, no team would want to concede. Because that would result into giving away the momentum. And that's what has happened. Our rush to Orange players will be feeling so confident at this moment. Will this be an offside? That's a chip. Goes into the goal. That is not an offside, ladies and gentlemen. That is the second goal for Maharashtra Orange. Dreams have been shattered at the moment. Looks like the title change has gotten so harder for FC Bengaluru United. Second goal for Orange. They have doubled their lead. And United, well, they have touched the rock bottom. What more Orange players would have wanted from the first half? Two minutes ago, it seemed as if the game was at the knife edge. But at the moment, Orange, well, they are sitting pretty comfortable with a two goal lead. Take a look at this chip. Glorious chip from Jersey number 19. Sanchit Singh, the man 
always stands up for his team. He knows how to score goals. He knows how to test the goalkeepers. And he has once again done that. Always keeps the goalkeepers on their toes. What has happened? What has happened? Hell has broken loose for FC Bengal United. Sanchit Singh strikes again. He is inevitable. The highest scorer in the league. Now he has got seven goals in his tally. He just keeps scoring and scoring. What a player he is. The target man, the talisman for Orange. Special player. Special goal. Just needed a chip and he did that. Well, disaster for United. Absolute disaster. They were looking in control. But what has happened in the last 10 minutes of the game? Well, things have completely changed. Orange has taken this game to a different level altogether. Five minutes in the regulation time in this first half. Whatever has happened in the last 10 minutes of the game will definitely have an adverse impact on the mindset of FC Bengal United players. Well, fans will be hoping that that does not happen. It's not always easy to lift yourself up when you are trailing by two goals. Bengal United were looking on song at the start of the season. Things have turned apart. Well, this match started on a completely different note and now it looks as if United were nowhere in the game in the first 40 minutes. That scoreline suggests the same, but, but we know that that has not been the case. United were in the game. Strong delivery. Goes out. No contact. But the way Maharashtra Orange have responded, well, it has been a special display of football from Maharashtra Orange. Bouncing on the opportunities. This is exactly what we were discussing. Clinicality. You need to be clinical in these moments. These are the occasions where you'll have to bury your chances. Otherwise, you'll have to view them. You just cannot afford to miss those chances. And United had some good chances in this game, in the, in the first 40 minutes of this game. And now, they are trailing by two goals. Rush around. They will be so happy with this effort. Their coach, Augusto, the silver will be so happy from his boys. 
he is a confident man. He is always looking for those results. This is United with a lot of space. Jose number nine, Jerry Onsamas Pulamte gives it to Jose number 17. This is a great chance. Here comes the cross. Goalkeeper puts in a diving effort on that occasion. There was no one to receive that cross, and that cross had a lot of venom in it. But FC Bengal United are looking to respond in the similar fashion. And they need to do that. There's no other way around. They can come back into this game without scoring goals. That is very important for them. Here's a throw in. Long one. Straight into the box. That would have been dangerous. That's what football is all about. It's not about the points, Stephen. It's not about the reputation. It's all about what you do on the pitch for those 90 minutes of the game. We have seen a lot of times where David have taken on the Goliath and they have destroyed the propositions. That's what football is all about. It's all about the passion. If you do not have that conviction in those 90 minutes, well, it will be very difficult for you to get those three points in the box. Well, what is that? What a goal! FC Bengaluru United right back into this game. What a spectacular goal! One touch wonder! Just before the half time, FC Bengaluru United have brought themselves back into the game. Just one delivery in the box and then that spectacular one touch guiding it towards the goal. As he guided his team back into this game, we will have to wait. But what a goal this is! Out of the blue, Thunderbolt, that's a screamer. So finesse, it was so immaculate from that player. What a goal this is! Absolute piece of wonderful art. Bangalore right back into this game. Well, this first half, this has turned out to be a lively affair. Three goals already into the game. And we can see what the title chase means. How much it means for United. They are not ready to surrender. Take a look at this goal. What is this? This is pure human conviction. The will to score at any cost. Naocha Singh, take a bow. United fans will be doffing their hat to this man. He has brought his team back into the game. He has kept the hopes alive for United. That's all they needed at the moment. This is Duatsang. A corner here for United. United upping the ante just before the half time. They do not want to go back into the dressing room with a trailing scoreline. They want to be in the lead, or at least they want an equalizer. That's the bare minimum that they want at this moment. Jerry Onsamas Pulamte on the corner for United. Can he put in a great delivery? Here comes the delivery. Well, that goes out. Last contact was from a United player. Things have gotten heated up here. What a first half we have got to witness at Kargar. Well, this Kargar bitch is turning out to be determining this, the destinies of both these teams. More so for United. They conceded those two goals, but now they have halved that lead just before the half time. And they'll be taking that momentum with them. Morella will be so happy. Captain Khan will be so happy with his players. Oh, 
Now Rusty Orange will have to be cautious in the second half. The game is not over yet. United know how to pull off these results. They have been a solid side in the season. And that's why they are sitting at the second position. That's why they are challenging for the title. They are a quality side. And they've got match winners who can actually turn up and change the complexion of the game at any point in time. Just before the halftime, this game has turned out to be a lively affair. It's all fair and square. Halftime whistle. First half comes to an end. What a riveting first half this has been. We've got to witness three goals. Two for Maharashtra Orange and one at the end. At the very opportune time for FC Bengal United, courtesy now just saying the game is still alive. The title challenge is still alive. Sporting Club Bengaluru fans will also be keeping an eye on this affair. Well, United fans, stay tuned into the affair. You've got a lot to cheer for. Your team is turning up for a difficult affair, but they are putting in everything. 2-1 at the halftime. Stay tuned in for the action in the second half. You must be having a lot of goals in the second half as well. This is how this first half has evolved. First we saw both teams fighting hard to get that first goal. First half an hour was a cagey affair, but then this free kick turned this game on its head. Where we got to see a perfect faint header from an orange player. It was a beautiful touch of display from Orange. They got themselves into the lead and they quickly doubled up that lead with a brilliant goal. This was that chip from Sanchit Singh, the man who knows how to turn up for important affairs. He is always there on major occasions for his team. That's what the goal scorer is all about. But then we got to see a moment of miracle here from FC Bengaluru United. It was a wonderful goal. And this is the goal that has kept the game alive just before the halftime. We are hoping for more goals in the second half. We'll definitely get to see once again another 45 minutes of mouth-watering action. Stay tuned in.
Hello and welcome back everyone. Second half, an interesting second half awaits. Not just interesting, but it will also determine the destiny of both sides, especially for FC Bengaluru United. Because for them, title is at stake. For them, promotion is at stake. For them, the last three effort, three years that they have put in, all the efforts, well, that is at stake. They will want to do well. They will want to turn aside and get all the three points from this game because there is no other alternative for them. They will have to do this. They have made a comeback into this game. Just before the half time, it was 2-1. And now Cha Singh, well, he turned out to be a magician for FC Bengal United and who absolutely created a stunner for FC Bengal United and it was his bond that created the magic for United 2-1 the scoreline Orange well they have surprised a lot of us they have shocked a lot of United fans but the game is not over yet till the final whistle the battle will be on and that battle will have to be taken care of by United because what they need, well, that's not what Orange needs. There's something beyond this game that is at stake for United. You've seen how Bengaluru United have evo evolved over the years. Last three, four years, well, they have been striving hard and they've been making a lot of changes and they have established a proper setup that needs to be appreciated all they need is a cherry on the top and that cherry is promotion well Varela, Santiago Varela has made an early change Ribhav Sardesai has taken the field in place of Suraj Rawat the substitution will have an interesting impact on the game because this is an early substitution relatively early just at the half time you can also say that Varela does not want to take any risk he wants to course correct as soon as possible before it gets too late because they need to score goals at least two to get all the three points from this game in the midfield a tussle referee intervenes foul given in favor of United last five minutes of the first half well we saw how United made a comeback into this game and they again made this match a lively contest shot from distance away by Orange in the midfield United are looking more settled in the second half they will be more determined because they know they cannot win this game without scoring goals. They'll have to be more clinical. That's what Santiago Varela will be asking from his players. Because without clinicality, well, you just cannot score goals. You'll have to use those chances. you have to use whatever you, resources you've got to bury those chances. This is Orange moving forward. Goalkeeper comes out, collects it comfortably. First few minutes of the second half, an important phase because this is where both teams will be tentative and they'll have to control their early nerves, especially United. Because if they concede one more goal, well, that will surely be a mountain to climb. Goes out for a throw in to Orange. We have seen some spectacular goals in this game so far. For both the clubs. Now Ocha Singh, Sanchit Singh, Aymar Adam, three goal scorers in this game. This is Rashtra Orange almost got their third goal. What a delivery it was in the box. And then almost a, an inch perfect header. 
just had to be guided towards the goal. Looks like an orange player is in trouble. We'll have to see if that is a corner or not. That is probably a corner for Orange. This is a good start for Maharashtra Orange in the second half. That's a positive start for them. They've already got one corner in the first five minutes of the game. It was almost a perfect header from Maharashtra Orange. Just wide off the target. Had that been on target, it would have been difficult for the goalkeeper, Vishal June, to take care of that. Well, now they'll have to focus on this one. This is Orange with a corner. Comes the delivery. Goes beyond. Jason Moretti keeps that in the play. That is definitely a throw in for Orange. United are trying to do good. That's a good sign. It's a sign and clear indication of intention that they are showing, showing at the moment. Goalkeeper comes out. That's a clear decision making that every goalkeeper has to make, and that was a good goalkeeping. Very decisive. Knows what to do at those on those moments. There's a quick start from United. They've looked positive in the second half. Joseph number 21 for United on the ball. Lal Mansoma. Well, the defence, United defence, will have to be very alert. They'll have to put everything that they've got. They cannot afford to concede any more goal at this moment. Because one more goal, and that will create a lot of difficulty for United because then coming back into this game well that will take something extraordinary do they have that extraordinary in them we'll have to see but they would not want to take any risk from here this is where the defense Karthik Manlal Duat Sangha these players are so so important and especially captain Ahmed Faz Khan because he is at the back and he generally marshals the field his players from the back that's why his role becomes important as well Thiago Varela will be hoping that Faz Ahmed Khan leads his boys from the back Keeps things settled in the defense. Once again, a clumsy challenge. Another yellow card for a United player. This time it is jersey number eight. Ribhav Sardesai. He has just been brought on to the pitch by Santiago Morella. At the halftime, he substituted Suraj Rawat. But he has already taken a yellow card. That was definitely not needed. A clumsy tackle to say the least. And referee did not wait for a second before pulling out his card. He has been perfect in this game. Referee is taking control of things. He has commanded the pitch. And he has not let the action go away from his hand. Second yellow card this is for United. Come back. They need an urgent comeback. United. Title hopes are pinned on the result of this game. This is not just any three points that they are playing for. This is a title decider in a lot of sense. 
Here's the confirmation start. This eye goes into the books. Well, meanwhile, this free kick straight to the goalkeeper. No real trouble for Vishal June. And he releases it immediately. He knows that he cannot afford to waste any time. What Santiago Varela will be thinking? He must be going through a whirlwind of emotions and thoughts because he knows his team has come so close into this contest. And the season has been special for him. Without a special ending, well, it will count to nothing. This was that challenge from Ribhav Sardesai. Once again, this is Ahmed Faiz Khan putting his body, making it tough for Orange player to find space. That has been the ploy for United in the second half. They're trying to close down those spaces and here comes another substitution from Santiago Morella. Well, immediate course corrections here. Just number 22 this time around, Ashley Alban Kohli comes in. We'll have to see who has been substituted. So that will be an interesting piece of information. Santiago Varela making quick changes in the team combination. He knows something is not right here and he needs to take correct action. Once again, once again, clumsy. United players will have to avoid these physical challenges because this is in no way helping them. This is breaking the momentum of the game. Meanwhile, that is the confirmation of the substitution. <laughs> Interestingly, Captain Ahmad Faz Khan has been substituted. That's a very interesting substitution. Hard and tough decision from Santiago Varela. Putting his captain out and bringing back Ashley Kohli. We have to see how this turns out and how this pans out for United. These are some interesting decisions being taken. Good to see that he's at least making those decisions because indecisiveness at this moment at this juncture of the game and season well that will definitely not be a good thing for united they need quick action can they score the equalizer in the next 10 minutes of the game that should be the primary goal for united taking this half in short periods and taking those correct actions in those short periods. That should be the motto for them in the second half. Almost half an hour left in the regulation time. Very important period this is for United. Strong challenge here from Orange. Sporting Club Bengaluru manager. He will also be keeping a close eye on this game. Chandu Shekhar Rao Chinta. He will be looking at this game and waiting for the result from this game because if United are not able to pull off a win from this game, well, equation becomes very easy for his side. They just need to get their results right. That's it. And they'll get that promotion to the I-League. That glorious, much chased promotion. Every club is fighting hard for that promotion. Because they know what a big prize that is. Going and fighting hard in the I League, putting yourself up there and rubbing shoulders with the best clubs in the country. That's what every club in I League 2 is striving for. And that's what FC Bengal United 
have been trying in the last three, four seasons as well. They have been very consistent with their setup. A very professional team. But they are missing that title. That's the only missing piece in this puzzle. Here's a free kick for United. Quick start. Goes out for the throw in. Interestingly, there have been no substitutions from Augusto da Silva. He's very relaxed at the moment. Though he must be knowing that this 2 1 lead is a very tender lead. It can vanish at any point. Karthik puts his body. Brilliant defending on that occasion. Look at the physicality that Karthik has used. Experience on the cards. That's what I was discussing. This defense unit will have to use each and every piece of experience that they've got. And Karthik is a senior pro. He's already on the yellow card, but he knows how to, how to conduct himself on the pitch when it comes to these last-ditch defending efforts. What a defensive display there was from Karthik. Jose Mbafo. This is United moving forward. Lal Soma on the ball, gives it to Joseph at 25, who has now got the captain's armband, Karthik Panikar. This game has also been physical in a lot of sense. We have seen fouls flowing in and we have seen physicals, players getting physical with each other. It really shows that no team really wants to let go of this result. They want those three points desperately. There's another injury concern, but the good thing is that he is back on his feet. <clears throat> Half an hour more for Orion FC and they'll have a glorious result. The last meeting between both these sides, it was a win for FC Bengal United and ironically the result in that match was a 2-1 scoreline in favour of United. Well, in this one, Orange are leading 2-1. Orange once again into the box. Good defending there. Not giving enough space in the box, keeping it tight. Not letting the opposition player take that header and guide it towards the goal. It was also a close affair the last time these two teams met on 23rd March. It was a narrow win for United. 2 1 the scoreline at the end. And 2 1 is the scoreline in this game as well, albeit in favour of Maharashtra Kuranj. Santiago Varela will be thinking what more he can do. His team has been good on the ball. The possession game has been good. And they've kept control in midfield as well. But when it comes to that final delivery, well, that has been lacking. Especially in the first half. That's why Maharash Oranj scored those two goals. Whenever they got those opportunities, they buried those chances. That's why they are in the lead. They urgently need a goal here, FC Bengaluru United. And that goal will definitely change the complexion of the game because then the game will be at stalemate. 2 2 will be the scoreline, and from there, any team can clinch that match. And we have seen a lot of late comebacks in this league. That has happened before, it can happen once again. All that they need is conviction. Do they have that belief? Because last few matches, results have not gone in their favour. The league campaign has deteriorated to an extent. Now the title challenge looks a little more tougher for them. Can they muster enough courage at this phase, at this occasion? That will be the question for United fans and United players, more importantly. Once again, solid defending there in the box from United players. They have been great at defending in this game, especially in the second half. Not so much. 
in the last 15 minutes of the first half. Orange, once again in position. Look at the numbers that United are coming back into their half with. They do not want to take any risk. Transition is all what they are looking at. Quick transition from offense to defense whenever they get an attack. And they need those quick transitions. Complacency is something that Santiago Valera will be frowning upon at. This is the criticality that we are talking about. Once again, they went forward, United players, but they could not get that final pass. This is what is missing. Once again, this is a good, clever give and go. This is jersey number 17 for United. He delivers in the box. That is a heavy delivery for now just saying the goal scorer for United. And this is what we were talking about. This is the first substitution for Arastra Orange. Meet Adekar, jersey number 12. He replaces Prathamesh Kasare. Kasare was also struggling with some injury concerns in the first half. Meet Adekar. We'll be interested to see what he brings on the table. It's an interesting choice because Prathamish Kasade, well, he mostly plays at the back end of the pitch. And Meet Adekar is a forward going player. So that is an interesting substitution here from Wilson da Silva. Is he looking for another goal? And if he is looking for another goal, that's a positive mindset. And we love that because football is all about taking the game to your opposition. It's about challenging those myths. The myth that says when you are in the lead, just contain. Not at all. Augusto da Silva thinks otherwise. Stretched off. Not a good sight for Maharashtra Orange. And there you go, Meet Adikar on the pitch. A positive change. Prathamesh Kasare has been substituted. That is a forced substitution. But it is an interesting choice of player from Wilson Augusto da Silva. Possession turned over. But good tracking back there from Maharashtra Orange. This is Maharashtra Orange trying to defend. What a timely intervention there. United in the box. Once again, that final delivery. But they are still with the possession. That's a good thing. Ah, that is a clumsy tackle. That is definitely a clumsy one. And that is Mita Adikur. His first contribution in the game is a foul. Trying to assert himself on the opposition player. Cleared away by Maharash Oraj on this occasion. In the box once again away. Well, this highly season has thrown forward some of the most interesting players. The most interesting being Sanchit Singh, a genuine goal scorer. Seven goals already with three more goal games to go. It will be interesting to see how this player evolves because he has got that knack of goal scoring. Seven goals in ten matches. What a output that is. Wonderful return on investment. Cross, cross. This is Jersey number 22 making his way into the box. Away by Maharashtra Raj. Timely clearance and comprehensive clearance on that occasion. What a run that was from Jersey number 22. Ashley Alban Kohli. And that's what he has been brought in by Fernando Santiago Varela. He knows Ashley Alban Kohli can. 
put up something special for his team. He has got that pace. That's what he was trying to do from the wings. Two more substitutions from Fernando Santiago Varela. Jersey number 16 and jersey number 10. Ronaldson and Mapuya. And once again, the experienced customer, Chester Paul Lindo. He knows what it takes at this level. He's an experienced guy, has been with United for a long time. And Varela will be hoping that Chester Paul Lindo, well, his experienced campaigner, does something good for the team. That's a header, spilled away in the goal, not given by the referee. Well, that last contact with the goalkeeper has denied a goal to FC Bengaluru United. Referee took a prompt decision, denied that goal. United players are not happy at all. Look at the disappointed disappointment on the face of Ashley Alban Kohli. He looks gutted as he should be. FC Bengaluru United was so close to that equaliser. But that last hefty contact with the goalkeeper, Mukundan did not help United's cause. Almost got the goal, almost got that equaliser. And these are the substitution confirmations. Yash Mahatre has gone out and Ronald Singh has taken his place. They are coming close. The risk is getting amplified for Maharashtra Orange. They cannot afford to sit complacent here. 2-1 lead. Well, that is a very slender and a narrow lead. We'll have to defend hard. It looks like one more player will be stretched off. This physical contest is turning out to be a difficult game for both sides. We've already seen one player, Sharad Kasare, going out and being stretched off. This time it is Joseph number 19 who is struggling and is limping off the pitch. And that man is Sanchit Singh, the most important player for Maharashtra Orange, the goal scorer. He is not looking comfortable. He is just trudging off the pitch. Not a good sign. The young goal scorer. His presence is very important in these last few minutes of the game. And now he has been substituted. Jersey number 29, Pratham and Kurup comes in for Sanchit and Jersey number 80, Kuiva Riva. So both the coaches using their calling cards. And they want to make something special out of this game. This is that confirmation. Rishabh Dobrial being subbed off. And Mapuya has taken his place. Entering into the last phase of this regulation time. Around last 15 minutes. Three more games to go for United. But this one holds the most importance. They need to score goals. Last three seasons, they have worked hard. They have done everything off the pitch. Now they need to produce results on the pitch. They've done a great job on this season so far. But the final hurdle demands something special.
This is the confirmation of Ivar Riva has gone out. And Kuru. Another throw in here for United. What all the United fans must be going through at this moment. Last 15 minutes, desperate for the for that goal. At least an equaliser. We have all been through this as fans, as those who love this game. We know what the thrill each and every club has to go through whenever they are chasing are chasing something absolutely big they're chasing promotion three points they need three points at any cost hydration break can this hydration break start something special for united santiago varela that man will be desperate united fans are desperate they know they need goal they need an urgent goal equalizer is the demand at the moment 2-1 the score line i'm our adam opened the scoring for maharashtra orange which was doubled up by orange's talisman sanchit singh who has already got seven goals this season and then now just singh turned up with something special it was an extraordinary touch that guided the ball towards the goal to bring FC Bangalore United back into this game. And that's why that scoreline 2 1. More goals. That is the need of the hour for United. Morella galvanized his side from the sidelines. Good chase there from Orange player. Look at the energy. Right, good possession. This is Karthik Panikar. Looking for options. Passes wonderfully. Wriggles away that United player. Keeps the position. This is just number 21. Dalman Soma drives it wide. Augusto da Silva on the sidelines, passing out his instructions. This is also a very important game for him because the season has not gone the way he would have wanted, how the club would have wanted, but this is the first time that they are playing I League 2. And they don't want to finish at the rock bottom of the table. And that's why this win is so, so important for Maharashtra Oranj. Once again, cries for a foul, cries for a card. United players are waiting for that card desperately because they have already been carded twice. Players like Karthik, he'll have to be very cautious because one more card and United will have to play with 10 men. That is definitely not what they would be wanting from this game. Number eight on the ball, Ribhav Sardesai finds 22 on the ball. Ashley draws a foul, wants to take it quickly. Well, that is a good area to get that free kick in. That was a clever challenge, and that's what pace does. Ashley Alvan Kohli has got that pace, and now he will be delivering. Remember. This is exactly how Maharashtra Oranj opened their scoring. Can United reply in the same fashion? This is Ashley. Push the ball in. Headed away. Still in the box. And now finally comes the final clearance. Goes out for a throw in. United pushing hard for that equalizer. Last 10 minutes in the regulation. In that goal. And an equalizer will make things very tense for both clubs, especially for Orange, because then they will be coming at the back of two consecutive goals. 
and then it wouldn't be easy for Orange FC to hold the juggernaut of United. This has been an almost perfect season for FC Bengaluru United. It's just that the final flourish seems a little improbable. But never say never. Fight till the end. That's what football is all about. And once again, another clumsy tackle right in front of the goal. Right outside the six-yard box and a card as well for Orange players. Tensions flaring up. Now things getting nervous. Just look at where United have got that free kick. Right in front of the goalkeeper. They just need a perfect free kick from here. Tides will be turned. Jersey number 11. The experienced Chester Paul Lindo. We have seen spectacular goals from this man. This pocket dynamo. Can he turn this game in United's favor? Lindo on the free kick. He delivers that contact. Takes it out. But a corner for United nonetheless. They are still in, they are still in the fray. This is Chester Paul Lindo on the corner. Here comes his delivery away. But Karthik Panikar keeps the position. This is Ribhav Sardasai. Just a Paul Lingdo once again. And he delivers in the box. That's good. That goes out. For a throw in to United. United are pushing hard. But again in the box. Straight to the goalkeeper. The intent is clear. Last few minutes. And they have made it clear that they want to score of the equaliser. This is Kartik Panikar on the ball, last 8 minutes. Clock turning not in favour of United. As of now. Shout for another foul. Well, on the other end, it could have been disastrous for United. Good goalkeeping, decisive action there from Vishal June. Throw in here for United. If United somehow are able to pull off this result, if they're somehow able to score those two goals and get themselves into the into the lead, they will have 22 points. Just two points adrift of Sporting Club Bengaluru who are sitting at the top of the table. And then the pressure will be on Sporting Club Bengaluru who are playing their game tomorrow. against another strong side sporting club de Goa that will not be an easy game for Bengaluru and that's why sporting club Bengaluru will be hoping that this result does not go into the favor of uh, United once again delivery cleared away those long balls those crosses we are seeing more of them now. That really tells you the desperation that is seeping in into the mindset of United players. They want urgent results. They want instant goals. Another long ranger that goes out. There was a contact and that is a corner for FC Bengaluru United. Take a look at that effort. This was that foul that was committed by Jersey number 15. Manish Malyadu Siddha, the captain, committed that foul. 
Another corner here for FC Bangalore United and this is Ashley Alban Kohli once again. Can he justify his substitution? He just needs to put that ball right into the dangerous area in that six yard box. This is all that United are waiting for. Just a clever delivery. An inch perfect corner. There are tussles in the box. Things getting heated up. Emotions coming out. United were trying to do something different. Referee stops Ashley Alban Kohli and instructs him to take that free kick. Rather corner once again. And he takes a shot. This is Vibhav Sardar Desai. Back to Ashley. Ashley delivers. Ah, almost that contact with that header. But good goalkeeping. Phenomenal goalkeeping. It's not always easy when an opposition player is rushing towards you. And then you'll have to make that decision to collect that ball. It's not always easy. Good goalkeeping there from Bukumdan. <laughs> Stand, standing his ground tall. It will also be very, very interesting to see how many more minutes will be added after the regulation time else because that stoppage time will be very crucial as well. Here's a free kick for Orange. They will be taking a lot of time on these free kicks because they know they do not need to hurry. Jason Mathi, 8, Adwait Rai on the free kick. Are they going to bring something straight from the training routine? A typical free kick. Finally cleared away. And this is another chance from distance. Goes above the bar. Danger averted for United for the moment. This season we had a lot of big names in Indian football chasing for that promotion. The biggest of all being Tempo. Now look at this. This result so important for the title campaign. Of not just FC Bengaluru United but for Sporting Club Bengaluru as well and for Tempo as well. Tempo Sports Club. Well, they've got 17 points in their tally. The title looks improbable for them. It's a difficult task. They can still do that. Once again, another cross straight to the goalkeeper. Not much venom in it. It was an easy collection for Ushal June. This is just Paul Lugdo. Perfect pass. Perfect give and go in the box. Just needed that final cross. Ashley Alban Kohli looking to get that final delivery dummy from Joseph Manine. But no one really there to receive it. And now finally, a long hefty kick of the ball from the goalkeeper. This is Joseph number 21. Delivers once again. Trying to get that ball straight into the box. Beautiful use of the body there from Jerry Olsmas Palamke. He has also put in a great defensive shift. He is a creative player but he does not shy away from packing back and contributing in defense. Once again, a hefty contact. Foul not given. But Orange player should consider himself lucky that he did, did not concede a foul on that occasion. Too many fouls and set pieces will definitely make things difficult for Maharashtra Orange in this game because FC Bengali United are a difficult side to contain. They've done a great job so far, Orange. This is United in the box. Jersey number 7. 
almost got that final shot on target, but that power was missing from Zoral Singh. Almost the end of the regulation time. The eyes will be on the added minutes. How many minutes will be added? Everyone will be waiting eagerly as to how many minutes are added into this game. Is that not a foul? Well, advantage was played, but now foul has been given. And once again, in a very critical area of the pitch, just outside that six yard box. What a chance this is for FC Bengal United to equalize things. Seven minutes, seven long minutes have been added in the regulation time. That is a boon for FC Bengal United. Can they use this? Can they exploit these last seven minutes? Destiny is still in their hands. Ashley Alban Kohli stepping up for his team. Can he do the job? Yes, not really, not really. Almost did that, but what a save this is from the goalkeeper, keeping his team into the game. Mukundan, take a bow. Flying out and diving to keep that ball out of the goal. It was a great free kick. But Mukundan Ravi Kumar. They did not let that ball go into the goalpost. What a brilliant effort from the goalkeeper. United were so close to that equaliser, but it is Mukund and Ravi Kumar. He did not make things easy for United. And now, on the other end, Oran Jaffe looking for that counter. Seven minutes added on in this regulation time. Things are getting nervous here from Rashtra Oranj. They know uh, that they have a very narrow lead. One good shot on target, one clever pass can change things in this game. This is Oranj trying to move forward, trying to test the defense. Easy for the goalkeeper, no real power on that pass. Good defending there. Timely challenge. A clean challenge on that occasion from a ranch player. The sun is setting at Kargar. And with that setting sun, the hopes are also sinking. Hopes of title for Bengaluru United. Oh, not really. Oh, not really. The hopes are alive. Equalizer for United. Sun is not setting for United. Kargan is alive. FC Bengaluru United have got that equalizer. 2-2. Santiago Morella will be pumped up. United have not surrendered. Equalizer, much needed equalizer. That's what we were talking about. Sun has not yet set on the destiny of United in this title challenge, mind you. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on this game last five minutes. What a game this has turned out to be. Proper entertaining stuff. And once again, Orange in the box. Nervous movement here. All that we need is a winner here from this game. United fans, you are back in the game. Your team has brought you back in this game. The determination is on display. They do not want to lose this game. United once again. Shot. Still in the box.
Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, Corner here for FC Bengaluru United. One more goal. Just one more goal. Like this one. Just Paul Lingdo with his delivery. FT1 finds Ashley and a header away. Last two minutes in this game. Two goals each for both sides. What a game this has been. FC Bengal United will be hoping for a winner here. Just number 10 takes, takes a shot. Still, United pushing hard for that third goal. That is the winner. Once again, long one. Goalkeeper stands tall. Collects it beautifully. Last five minutes of the game, well, United have made themselves heard. At least they've got that equaliser. They are at least going back with one point. Will that be enough? Not really. That is definitely not enough at this point in the season because Sporting Club Bengaluru are inching towards that title and promotion. And in that wake of result, United needed a win. But the way they have made a comeback 2-0, and now 2-2, two, two. that shows the determination and that shows the conviction that these boys have. Character has been shown by United boys. Now that winner is missing. Can they do that? Can they do the trick here? In the box, once again cleared away. Maharashtra Orange players. Well, that defense is in sixes and sevens. Chester Paul Lingda once again. Drives it towards the goal. And finally cleared away once again. Orange back in position, but once again giving it away very cheaply. That has been the story in the last five minutes. The corner almost at the end of this game. This is the last chance for United to salvage a win from this encounter. Ashley Alban Kohli delivers, header away, and that is the final whistle. Curtains down on this thriller of a game. 2 to the final scoreline. What an encounter this has turned out to be. First, it was Maharashtra Orange who shocked Bengaluru with two goals immediately. And then it was a comeback, a spirited comeback from FC Bengaluru United. Title hopes are not yet over, though it has become even more difficult for United to get that promotion into the I League. But good news for you, Sporting Club Bengaluru from Kargar is that they've got a lot more breathing space. Full time score Maharashtra Orange 2. Courtesy of Amar, Adam and Ravi, Sanchit Singh Ravi, and two for United as well. Gangbam, Naocha Singh and then Ashley Alban Kohli. Well, in the stoppage time, stepping up for his team, getting that equaliser, salvaging something from this game. 2-2, full-time score. Spoils shared at Kargar. An absolute cracker jack of the game for everyone who is watching the stream. Well, United fans must be disappointed, but they'll at least be happy with the effort that these boys have put in in the last <laughs> few minutes of the game. They would have expected a win against Maharashtra Orange, who are sitting at the bottom of the table. But football all, always is a very interesting art. You do not know what is coming up. Full time score 2 2. League is still open. Title challenge is still open. And these are the moments that caught the attention. Few shots on target. Few wonderful shots. But then the real game started from here. It was Aymar Adams' header that guided that ball towards the goal. And then 
Sanjit Singh complimented this goal with a beautiful chip. But this one, well, this actually opened the game up. Shocked FC Bengal United because by then, it was United who was controlling the proceedings. But after that goal, it was Sanjit Singh who made it really difficult for United to make a comeback with that glorious chip. Calm, composure and that talisman always turns up for his team. But then, the story was all about this goal. Naocha Singh, just before the halftime, brought his team back into this game and then made this game a thriller. Few tackles flowing in. The battle got really intense. Few clumsy tackles. We saw hard challenges because three points was at stake and none of the teams could take any chance. And then came this equalizer. This was a, a beautiful goal, wonderfully crafted by FC Bengaluru United. And courtesy of that equalizer, they've at least got one point from this game. Full-time whistle, well, that guarantees a two, two each result for both sides. Goodbye for today's game. But the I-League 2 caravan is still on. Title chase has got even more interesting. Stay tuned in for more action from I-League 2.